Hello, welcome to Footy Tic Tac Toe, the series in which we're mashing up two different things and find a play that has that in common. And today, we're joined by Angry Jane Chodo, mate. Very good, mate. It's a pleasure to be back on the channel. Thank you for having me. It's only been three months, mate. But you've been busy, haven't you? Out to Qatar, playing with a few ex professionals, as you do. Yeah, although I'd word it as though the ex professionals were playing with me. I'd say Kaka is lucky enough that I've let him get past me there. Because I got, obviously, I could have tackled him if I wanted to, but I thought, nah, let him have his moment. Reminisce. Yeah. What have you been up to anyway, Pingo? Anything interesting? Darby gets Bristol at the weekend, set in the Bristol end, so I had to be very quiet. And somebody spotted me, so I had to be even more quiet. Oh, you know what them shouting about saying you do terrible, because wow, you'll get absolutely rushed, mate. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, uh, shall we go into today's episode? What would you like to start with on the grid? I'd like to start with, we'll just start nice and easy, golden boot winner. I thought you could go even easier with Man United, but maybe that's later. Let me start off with... Let's go Ivory Coast. Right, okay. I want to go Manchester United. Lovely. Let's go for Inter Milan since I'm wearing the shirt. Actually, do you Ooh. know what? We'll go AC because I always go Inter. AC Milan. Right, okay. Yeah. And for the final one, I would like Jose Mourinho. I've just messed myself up because I don't know anyone for the Ivory Coast on Milan, but hey-ho. And I'll end off with, this is where I can go early. Let's get, some, get someone from Jose's Porto team back in the day. You know he managed Benfica as well before Porto. I'm Many fully aware, mate. That. I know everything yeah. about Jose Mourinho. Ask me a question and I know it. Who was the goalkeeper winning the Champions League with Porto? We're playing a game okay. here, Pingu. After the game, yeah? Yeah. Let's just go anyone to play in the Turkish League. Since I had it uh, yesterday, I had a bit of turkey in my carvery. Did you know? Yeah. What meats do you get at carvery? Just turkey, or did you get gammon as well? Yeah, there was gammon, beef. God. They didn't have any lamb, hunted lamb, but Ooh, let's go lamb turkey. is very tory. It's gammon and turkey, is all you get. Right, am I, am I to go first? Yeah, why not? I'll go a golden boot winner, Ivory Coast, and let's go. Oh, this is a tough one. Oh, yeah. Me mate, did he? You mean the guy that absolutely rinsed you? Well, he didn't know, did he? He's just quicker than me. Left you on the floor, yeah. Chill out, because I'll just end the recording now, Bingo. Let's go for the middle. Uh, we will say somebody that you'll love, Yap Stam. Yap Stam is a big Dutch man. Golden boot winner, Turkish league. This will be an interesting one. Do you know Eto went there? Could have had Drogba again for this one. I know. Mate, do you reckon Eto got top goal scorer? Any, is there any others I actually know? Um, mm, that's a tricky one. I can't think of any other Ivory Coasts for United. I've got one. I can't think of any more. Really? What, is there an obvious? Oh, right. Right, are we counting someone who's changed nations or not? If, it depends on what they are right now kind of thing. Well, Zaha, for example, is he English or is he from Ivory Coast? He's from Ivory Coast. Right, okay. Manchester United, Ivory Coast, Zaha. Yeah. Could have had, well, the ones I'll put in this end one. Uh, obviously, Eric Bailly. Yeah, that's, or, that was my other one. Who, who's the other one? Ahmad Diallo. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, he, you know, he's a good player. <sighs> it is all right, yeah. Turkish League boot winner. I've got absolutely no idea. Vegas definitely hasn't done it. I'll go for a punt, and I'll go Samuel Eto'o. Samuel Eto'o, golden boot winner. Get in there. Yeah, he's got it. What year is that? Doesn't matter, does it? I've just told you he's got it. Just double checking. Copper Italia top scorer, I'll let you, yeah. I mean, he won the golden foot as well, whatever that is. But oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm... I thought, no, no, he definitely has had the golden boot, but I thought he, uh, he had to have the golden boot whilst he was in the Turkish league. Yeah, yeah, literally. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it's that's like perfect. Edin Dzeko won it with like Wolfsburg, but then yeah. now at Fenerbahce or whatever. Um, so AC Milan golden boot winner. Did Kaka ever win a golden boot? Yeah, he did. The Brazilian scored 10 goals in 13 matches to win his first god how's that you don't win a golden boot with 13 10 goals do you so that can't be right i didn't yeah, really give kaka as an answer i didn't really go yeah lock it in let's just say a bit of uh andre shevchenko get the ukrainians in right i need ac milan jose Mourinho. now this mm -hmm. one i'm assuming should be very easy very easy oh yeah oh i don't know did he manage kaka when he was at madrid mm. I'll go with Kaka. Another one that skins it like 42, whatever he is. Doesn't matter though, he's a Ballon d'Or winner, isn't he? So. Yeah. 20 turn. Yeah, definitely. Pretty much lines up perfectly with Jose at Real Madrid. Kaka was. Okay, um, perfect. So yeah. Hold on. Just to get the bottom of the board. Let's go Man United and Turkish a League. I've got answers, but I want something more, you know. Well, no one's going to win this one. She's just wasting our time. Only up until the morning. Yeah, okay, we wear ghosts. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Jose Mourinho, Turkish League. Come on, mate. You're wasting our time. I'm uh, moving on to the next board. Go out by then, mate. You can't have Eric Bailly. Oh, yeah. I can't Why, what's that, yeah, mate? Sorry. What's that? sorry, I thought you used it for the other one. Uh, perfect. Eric Bailly. <laughs> right. Round number one is a draw. So let's go to the next one now. I get to start this time. Uh, we will say a bit of the MLS. MLS. Mm -hmm. right, well, I'm going to make this really tricky, and I'm going to go American. Cool. Now we can pick places where niche Americans are. Don't be a dick. 
Let's go for a Prem team then, and we'll go Fulham. Let's go for a pundit. Do you mean a pundit? They got to be a pundit at some yeah, point. Yeah, they, they have. They would have had to have been a pundit. Not not just uh, people's pundit. <laughs> no. And um, let's end off with could go Derby, but it's a little bit mean for you. Let's go somewhere in Europe. Yeah, let's go Roma. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Roma. And let's go. I'm just gonna go easy to make it easier for myself. I'm gonna go Premier League. Any specific team? Just to you know. Go Liverpool. Lovely. I get to start this time, and I will go for Liverpool Roma. John Onorisa, not John Onorise, as you say. I would like to go American Fulham. I'd like to go Robinson. What the fruit juice? <laughs> exactly. That. It's not a fruit juice. Oh, it's actually. Isn't it? I'll let you off. Never mind. Yeah, squash. Yeah. Let's go to Liverpool MLS. We'll go Christian Benteke. I'll go Liverpool, Fulham. Oh. John Rodriguez would work for that as well. Lead for Fulham. Yeah, I can't use him though, can I, Pingu, mate? Mm. That's a shame. I actually don't think I've, I've, I've got any. You'll definitely know this player that does work. For some reason, Martin Skirtle's jumped out at me and I just don't I don't think a Slovakian would have gone from Fulham to Liverpool. Oh, is is, actually, I've got one for the middle now that also works for the bottom, weirdly enough. Mm. I don't know if I'll be able to get another Fulham pundit if I put him at the bottom middle, though. Do you know any pundits at Fulham? Oh! Now that you said that, I'm going to go with this punt. I'm going to go Danny Murphy. There you go, mate. Yes! That's the one that does work. Whoa! But the worst yeah. thing is, I had him for a pundit from Fulham's now, so now I am fucked. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do for the middle. Brilliant. <laughs> Fulham pundits. Who, who's like a pundit? It, um, it depends on your like stipulation on what you're going to allow as pundit. It's quite simple, no? It's like how regular. Mine's a bit more of a radio host. That is not but a pundit. It, like, pundit, you want half time chatting. Yeah, don't you? That's what yeah, you yeah, yeah. Oh, the thing is, I'm sure he's done a bit of punditry at some point. I'll be able to find a picture, I think, with him doing punditry. So I'm going to try him. And for the middle, I'll go for Darren Bent. Okay, I think I'm giving you that one on the basis that I would have accepted it. Let's go see. Yeah. He's definitely on, like, TalkSport quite a lot. TalkSport's not a pundit. I know, but, like, I mean, surely at some point he's done. Uh, yeah, he has done, he has done. Uh, he did a Newcastle versus Fulham on TNT Sports on yeah, 23rd lovely. of October 2022. Just one, one punditry appearance. That's all that we need. Just one appearance, but listen, it's got him the cap. Let's go Roma and American. Okay, I'm going to save that one in case you don't know it. So I'm going to go American, MLS. I'm going to go Brad Guzan. Has he played in the MLS, though? He is yeah. American. He has. Of every year. American has played in the MLS, bingo. Don't even... Yeah, he's played for three different clubs. Exactly. Uh, two, two, to be fair. Yeah, a lot in England, of course. At Atalanta now. The thing is, I don't think you'll know the American at Roma. To be <laughs> right, honest. Okay. The one I want to say, I'm pretty sure he did play for Roma. I'm going to go Michael Bradley, whose dad was Bob Bradley, the manager. Roma and a pundit, I go De Rossi. Daniele De Rossi. I mean, he is a manager now. And then MLS pundit, you don't know where I'm from, dog, Clint Dempsey. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, that, to be fair. Wait. Yeah, good, oh, yeah, good okay. answers. We drew, I we won. Drew. Again. I won, How mate. did you win? No, I won. I won straight through the middle. Michael Bradley. Oh, shit. You didn't even see that, did you? So you won five minutes ago and I'm still sat here playing. <laughs> yeah. 1-0 Pingu. Brilliant. I didn't even realise. Right then, into round number three. Currently 1-0 to me. What would you like to start with? Uh, let's go with a small club this time. Let's go Manchester City. I think everyone saw that coming as soon as I said small club. Expected Derby, in a way. No, I couldn't care about that. Let's go for a World Cup winner. Let's go World Cup goal scorer. Top goal scorer. Golden boot. Yeah. Let's go for or oh, save that till last because i got a cheeky one let's say a bit of could go for a nation i guess there's been a few few winners over the years we'll go for the nation of england we'll go coached by pep guardiola you got city and pep it's a bit bit boring do you want to go something else it's a bit boring city uh, and pep, you know, uh, let's go coached by Exam. conte Conte, sure. Not going to go for Wenger. Oh, be mate Wenger. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's actually just watched at me, actually. Has he? Yeah. Well done again in the charity match. You was amazing. Ha ha. I've got your phone. He's a joker, in it. He's a joker. Fuck off, Wenger. Yeah, yeah. Just watching your vlog back. Yeah, he does it all the time. He said, uh, he said I'm a big, he's a big fan of the channel. He said, uh, what's your mate as well? Greasy air, never washes it. Scruffy bastard. Went Luke Pingu. He went to, uh, yes, sir. Pingu, I love her. I love Danny Bell. Anyway, uh, we'll finish off with a bit of... You're sorry, you'll finish me off. You bloody well won't, Pingu. Okay. Cool. Bloody no, I'm off I signed up to. We'll finish off the board. Uh, we'll finish off the board <laughs> with a bit of... I really want to go for it, but Yeah, I mean, it will work. Yeah, you're not going to be happy, but I'm going to go for Norwich City. <sighs> Right, yeah, but why are we doing that? Go on then. Oh, yeah, let's go for a bigger one. End off the board with a bit of Bayern Munich. Perfect. I'll kick this one up. 
off and I'll go England, Golden Boot, Harry Kane. You're an idiot. Why am I an idiot? Actually, no, you're not. Never mind. No, why did you think I was an idiot then? No, 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 no. I don't mind. I don't mind. Anyway, um, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go bottom right. Bayern Munich and Arsene Wenger, somebody with a really good first name, Podolski. Let's go. What? Chiller? Yeah. I'm going to go World Cup, Golden Boot, and Bayern Munich. I'm going to go Merisov closer. Fantastic player, by the way. It's getting you closer to the win. Oh, let's go. <laughs> World Cup winner and Golden Boot. Merisov closer would have worked there. So yeah, he it would have. It would have. Yeah. But I think it's the game is what's going to work now, not what would have worked, Bingo. Yeah. So I'll have your answer there, please. It's because you don't know another Bayern Munich. Golden boot winners. <laughs> Why are you coming at me sideways, Pingu? Because like I said, I will threaten to stop the recording again. Yeah. Did Gerd Muller ever win the golden boot? That he is did, the question. Yeah. Obviously. A lot of goals. No, the World Cup golden boot. Yeah, no, no, he did. He won it the same year as they won the thing. What what thing? The World Cup. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Well, ultimately, I'm not going to argue, I've already basically Let's it away now. Go so. Gerd Muller, whatever. Whoa! It doesn't... Oh, I'll double check that as he won it, because you might have just been playing some perfect mind games. Surely. He's got bloody 68 goals World for Germany. 62. Cup. <laughs> also, got the he World scored Cup 10 goals 74. at the 1970 where he received a golden boot as top goal scorer. 1970. Oh, yeah, the year he saved, same year he won the Ballon d'Or. Do you know what I yeah, always think is weird? Yep. That, like, he's, he's there running about on a football pitch before my mum's even born. Do you know what I mean? I just, I just think the whole thing's missed, uh, like a mystery. And probably not the place to talk about on a Luke Pingu tic tac toe, I'll be honest. I just think it's fascinating how the, the world is, is the world. And I want answers, I'll be honest. What do you mean it's interesting that he was a footballer before you? No, your it's mom just, was it's even... interesting how. Everything's going on, and we're not even alive, and we don't even know. And then we learn about what's already been gone. Do you know what I mean? I just find history so fascinating. A lot's gone on in the last, you know, 13 billion years. Um, but yeah, 13 for billion. World's not been about for 13 billion, mate. Yeah, they're like since the Big Bang. But let me Something ask you a like question: that. Who's to say when the astronauts, not astronauts, when the dinosaurs were all alive, that civilization wasn't even the same as it is now, and we've had to restart? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, there could have been another Luke Pingu sat there with VO5 in his bedroom playing tic-tac-toe. Nah, one of a kind. One of a kind creator. Right. I am going to go Venga and England. <laughs> oh, don't know why Aaron Ramsey nearly slipped out of my mouth then. I'm going to go Oxley chamberlain Yep. He's an Englishman. Thank you. Man City English. This will we be a will tough go. one. I'm going to go for the best one. Two-time Champions League winner, Scott Carson. Wait, where did he win the other one? Uh, Liverpool in 2005. He's won both <laughs> Champions yeah, Leagues. Yeah, 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 and not playing. In Istanbul. Right, I'm going to go World Cup winner, Man City. Oh, actually. Oh. Mm. There is one for this. I yeah, know, I know. I was going to go Ilkay Gundogan, but I don't know mm. if he was in the German squad. I could also just go Man City Bayern, but I can't think of anyone who's played for Bayern. Oh, Cancelo. <laughs> He's not won the World Cup. No, he hasn't. We play for Bayern and Man City, mate. Yeah, we'll go on then. Cheers. So you need top left or top right, mate. Oh, there we go. Had a pop on Google, have we? No, I've, I, you can see on the... I'll sort of be camera up. Yeah, sure. I think I need top right, mate, because if I go top left, then you win. So we'll go top right. Don't be boring. There's... Go top left. Spice it up a bit. <laughs> Test my knowledge, because I actually don't think I know any. There's loads for this. I'm not right. sure, though. I just don't know. Try, try top left, Pingu. Don't be boring. What's an interesting one for Wenger World Cup winner? Oh, I'm going to get a bit of a... Oh, here. Yeah. No, no. Oh, no. That's annoying. Ten seconds remaining. We will say a uh, murder sucker. A <laughs> murder sucker. I'm double checking that in case you've absolutely messed up. It's a 14 World Cup winner. But was he in the squad? It's there lifted the trophy, so yeah. F he was, yeah, he's on the bench. He got subbed on. What were they trying to yeah. do? Throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Messi imagine, imagine, imagine Messi just megged him and was through on goal. He ain't catching him. Uh, Man City World Cup winner for a draw. Uh, although oh, I have actually just looked at the German squad and I, yeah. I actually didn't even see it. <laughs> but I'm going to go with Kai Gundogan. And if he isn't in there, that's quite embarrassing. Well, that's embarrassing, mate, because he was injured for the World Cup. So <laughs> it does not really. Um, that shows up, Pingu. I'm not a yeah. cheat. Yeah, integrity. The ones for this actually does work for Wenger as well. Uh, Patrick Vieira. Oh, Unless he won it wow. with uh, no way, the France. Guys. Amazing. What's that? A one nil, two draws. Yeah, so one nil. Just say that. <laughs> yeah, just just one nil. Yeah. But yeah, let's go into the next round. I get to start this time, and we will say, should we go down under, Ginge? What Australia? Yeah. Right. Well, okay. Go on then. I mean, you at least can, you know. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go Everton. Everton never shine so brightly. Everton spirit. Of the Blues. Beat him at the weekend, didn't you? I <laughs> beat him, battered him, mate. We will say a bit of... Can we go with Everton? It would be nice. 
We'll get Barcelona. Okay. I'm going to go Real Madrid. With an Australian? No, I'm not going to go with that. No. Um, the problem with this is I only know one Australian You know a footballer. goalkeeper. <gasps> What's his name? I'll go Aston that's, Villa. That's what? not the club he played for. <laughs> Never mind then. Let me have a look at who he played for. There is an Australian. We can go Aston Villa if you want. There is nope. an Australian that no, plays. All right. There's a couple of goalies actually, to be fair, you might know. Although you've already got a Premier League team, so I can't really allow you to have another Premier League team, unfortunately. Right, I'll just go played at the World Cup. Has a World Cup appearance. Brilliant. So any of the Australians? I'll finish off with, this is where we can go for like North Korea with a 1958 World Cup appearance. <laughs> we will go for a bit of... Let's go West Ham. And I will top it off with cost over 50 million <laughs> no Australian has been bought for over £50 million. Pounds. I could go bold here, and I, I, I could ruin the whole table. I'll go managed by Graham Potter. Sure. Pretty sure that might work, hopefully. Um, well, I know if it works or not. Yeah. Where is Graham Potter? I guess he's still got the money from yeah, he's Chelsea chilling, sucking him. Like I think he's, yeah, I think he's I, fine. I think he's managed to do all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, we will go. Actually, yeah, there should be my a couple for a bottom left, but we'll save that for later. Let's go. Everton West Ham player. And we will go Kurt Zuma. Boo! RSPCA is not happy. <laughs> Let's go Australia Everton. Oh, he's got a message off him, actually. Tim Cahill. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Just one of my yeah. mates again, Tim Cahill. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's go. Ideally, I need the Graham Potter Australian. It's just whether... Yeah, why not? Let's take the punt. And we will say Matthew Ryan. Has he played <sighs> with Potter? Yeah, he has. That's why I thought of it. Yeah, that does work. Uh, the other one I was going to try is Aaron Moy. Pretty sure that works as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that is actually. That does work. But you've also just given me one for Australian World Cup appearance now, so a nice one. You couldn't name another Australian footballer that's <laughs> been to the World Cup <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. Everton. You sure about that? No. No. <laughs> let's go. I wonder. No, actually, no, I am. I'm going to go Everton, World Cup appearance. You sure about, you sure about that? I'm going to go Barcelona, World Cup there appearance. There we go. This is a tough one. Yeah. What's that youngster called? Yeah. Lionel Messi, I think. Yeah, he's, he's coming up. He should do all right. West Ham and Graham Potter then. Ooh. I'll be honest, this is... Fairly easy. Is that actually? Yeah. I don't know. You, you're just bluffing me. That's too easy because that's that's just not that straightforward. Unless I'm just. You're being thick. You'd pick shit, mate. Yeah, probably. Do you know what? To make it interesting, I'll let you do it. We'll go <laughs> Graham Potter, Barcelona, Mark Cucurella. Um, go on then. West Ham, Graham Potter. <laughs> West Ham and Graham Potter. I'm trying to think now who's gone from Brighton to West Ham, and I don't think anyone actually has. I think it might be a Chelsea player, to be honest. But then it's remembering what yeah, players that's Potter what, Yeah, had. that's what I'm saying. He'd manage at Swansea, Graham Potter. I know he does. Oh, I'm, I'm going over a punt. Ashley Williams. Well, I don't need to check that because he never played for West Ham. I know, I don't think he had. That's why it was a punt. No, yeah, and he never played under Potter because that was <laughs> Brilliant. Like, quite a few years difference. We will say, I mean, I could go, so I can't really go anywhere else, can I? I could get the West Ham. Yeah, I'll get the West Ham World Cup appearance. I could go Bobby Moore, but I'm going to go for Davo Suka. Got the golden boot in 98. Then if I get this bottom right, then it's a two-way win and it's more impressive. <laughs> Just showing off, innit? You get three points at the end of the game. It doesn't matter how many goals you score, mate. But it'll be three points because I'll be 3-0 up, won't yeah. it? No, you won't. Yeah. You'll be 2-0 up. All oh, right. West Ham and Graham Potter. There must be a West Ham Brighton link somewhere. That's probably your best bet anyway. Where was it Graham Potter started his... His managerial career was it Sweden? Yeah, Os Ostersund or something. Because if it was Czech Republic, I'd throw a suit check in there and just try and somehow get one from the early early days. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for Lampte and hope that maybe he played for West Ham growing up. You mean the Chelsea youth player? Chelsea mm. and Brighton, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> oh, what can we say? Now, Mr. Potter, not really been much moving between Chelsea and even West Ham recently. No, that's what I mean. Just fill in the rest of the board as we go along. Uh, I'll go Everton boss, <laughs> Gerard Dillon. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna annoy people. They'll, they'll be screaming in the comments like someone's name. I'll go Australia World Cup appearance. I'll go Schwarzer. <laughs> Did he go to the World Cup? Yeah. Fair enough. Potter I honestly West think we have to just call it for a draw. I'll be honest, I've Googled it now and I can't find anyone. <laughs> to be fair, I got, I've got a better, there's a, there's a better way of doing it. I'll give you some clues if it is doable. All right. Yeah, I think weirdly the closest possible thing is like maybe a Kurt Zuma or an Emerson Palmieri. Yeah, I, I'd have said, but yeah, I'd have, I, I'd have said Zuma, but obviously it's too late now. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he wouldn't have been at Chelsea anyway, no, even at I mean. that point, so... And NA, not possible. So, yeah, we'll have to do another round because of that. So, uh, no, nah, I'm joking. That round ends as a draw. So, I'm playing for a draw here, aren't I? In my final one here. Yeah, take a point away from home. What would you like to start with? It's you to start. No, it's not. Nah, it's you to me. start. I host it. I know what I'm doing. I need the points. I'm going to go Manchester United again. I will say anyone to play in the EFL. <sighs> 
and I'm going to go... <laughs> Why did you sigh when I said that? What's wrong with the EFL? I'm going to go wore the number 10 shirt. We will say... What in leagues specifically? Not much of Spain, have we? Let's go for Sevilla. Interesting. Make it severely difficult. Oh, dear. Let's go <laughs> top goal scorer of the league. League top goal scorer. Hold a boot. Oh, we've done that already twice, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we have. Promoted to the Prem. I mean, that's a lot from the EFL. Right, and I need the point, Pingu. Okay, good luck with that, Sevilla. Oh, shit. And then we'll go back. Finish I'm not doing it that one. No, no, no. You've, you've done it now. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm gonna go Leeds United. You've already got an English team in your row. What, is that the actual rules, or you just want to make it difficult? No, there's the actual rules. It's just that I don't want to make it, you know. So. Right. Oh, do I want to go for? Oh no, I can't go for that. I was gonna go for a match referee, but you can't do that for Sevilla, can you? I don't even know what. Actually, would, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go for a referee. A ref. In the EFL, yeah. Or obviously a ref a Sevilla game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but. Well, that's difficult, isn't it? I know sure. the referees though. Yeah, go on then. Play to your strengths. Let's end it off with... I really want the Australian League because I know a ref from there. Let's say... What have we not said from the City? Ah, said Roma, said... I want to go PSG, not go French. Go on then. Go PSG. Right, to kick it off, I'm going to go Manchester United, PSG, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He is our Swedish hero. On a free from PSG, he cost us F in zero. Cavani as well. I'm in love. I can't deny. Our centre forward is the king of Uruguay. Gabriel Hines as well. Do you know any chance for him? Hines! Heinz! No, he was actually Argentinian, mate. Yeah, but he played for PSG oh, yeah. and Man United. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Argentina, I know he played for Sevilla. He's I'd, Argentinian. I'd just say, before you go for this one, don't make it embarrassing for yourself. Let's go for Maradona. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to go for... It's not where I was going. <laughs> what, thought. have I made you change at last minute? No, no, no. I was going to go Maradona, but it's whether he's got the number 10 at Sevilla or not. He did, yeah. Yeah, he did. Look at Maradona, that. Maradona, he's got what he wants. Super, nin super Nintendo kit. <laughs> I'm going to go PSG... Oh... I think of the ref. It was the ref when uh, Rashford. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. When you got that penalty for Kim Pembe. I, I can picture exactly who it is, but I don't know his name. So I'm going to go... Mate, I've got Man United Sevilla in my head, and I know there's an obvious one, but I can't think of who it is. Right, I'll go Man United EFL. I'm going to go Ahmad Diallo, even though we've already had him. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not on this board. Let's go Sevilla Man United. You found it quite severely difficult. Yeah, but I, um, I, know, I know there's an obvious one, so I don't know why. Yeah, I'll go for Alex Tellers. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if there's anything <laughs> more... There probably is more obvious things. I'm going to go EFL. Oh, I could go EFL ref, but I, am I going to... I don't think you're going to know a ref who's ref severe. I think you're going to take a punt. I'll take a punt at some Europa League final referees. Uh, yeah, yeah. Those are their most years. I'm going to hope you don't get it and it's a risk. It's going to either win with the game or throw with the game. And I'm going to go a ref from the EFL. I'm going to go Craig Parson because he was a ref who got demoted back to the EFL because he was shite. See, that's the awful thing as well. They don't go, oh, we'll, we'll not use this referee anymore. We'll, we'll put him down to a league so this... Yeah. Lee can suffer now. <laughs> anyway, EFL wore the number 10. Who has worn the number 10? Who's at num number 10 for Derby right now? Don't even know, so don't many... know your own players. That's disgusting. So, so many injuries at the club that at the minute. That's a disgrace. That's the number 10. That is bad. That is bad that I don't know. <laughs> that is really bad, Pingu. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Because he's been injured. It's Martin Waghorn. There we go. Thank <clears> God that works. He missed an absolute sitter at the weekend. So he's not injured. He's still playing. No, he's only just come back today. Ah, right. Okay. But he's been injured since I started the season. Right, I'm going to go PSG, war the number 10. Oh, hang on. Did Neymar wear 10? Oh, Mbappe wears 10 now, though. Yeah, but I'm going to go, no, I'm gonna go Neymar. Oh, oh. I'm going to go Neymar. 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 Sure about that? No, but I've, I've gone with it on the basis yeah. of I'm sure I bought a knockoff shirt and he was number 10. Okay, number 10. Thank God. <laughs> Referees. Uh... Here we go. <laughs> what can we say? Who would do European games? I mean, the thing to do is go. go I might as Which well go going for, for it. Severe, or PSG? I might as well go for the Sevilla one because oh, okay. then at least I'll win it. And I can see that Spanish guy that Pep absolutely hates as well. That referee. Oh, what's his name? Let's try for a European match. A bit of Mark Clattenburg. You've gone all the way back to Mark. Clattenburg. I'm just thinking, like, yeah, prestigious, you know, Mark Clattenburg, Sevilla. I think you actually chose one of the only referees who hasn't ref. No, 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 no. I've got an article here. Severe defender, Pereira, blames Mark Clattenburg for 3 1 defeat by Juventus. Mm. I think it works, mate. Oh! 
I would have gone Anthony Taylor. What, for Sevilla? PSG. No, 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 for PSG. Yeah, he has done it multiple times. That's a shame. The thing is, I, I thought we were doing refs at ref. No, I didn't realise we were going back to the 1900s. He's a referee. He's, he's a referee not, though, consultant yeah, he's not, yeah, exactly. He's not a ref anymore. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, the, the yeah. category was referee, weren't refereed. Yeah, but Maradona's not playing Sevilla anymore, is he? I don't know. I don't watch the La Liga. Right, well, well done. You won 2-0. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done, yeah. Pingy. What a surprise. Pingy wins on his own game again whilst he's sat by his computer. Who would have thought it? Well, you're sat by yours. Which, yeah, but I don't see Pingy. Do you know what you should do um, as a series? Yep. Football bingo. Mm. And I'll so take 25% got... of revenue because it's my idea. All right. Okay. Thank you. I'll think about that. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you check out Jing. Just drop him a follow and all that good stuff. Drop a like on the video and we'll catch you all next time.